Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Good day, Nigerians. And as we all prepare for our dear nation's 63rd independent anniversary, I feel it's the right time to share what we do at our Citadel of Learning because it is a call for action now more than ever. My name is Abiola Abdurashidu Wodi and I am the Executive Director of Crescent Health Leadership Academy. This is unveiling our theme for the year at Crescent Pearls Leadership Academy. At Crescent Pearls Leadership Academy, our vision is to produce successful generations of cultured leaders. So every year, aside our normal academic activities, we choose a seed of leadership trait and plant it in our school community. This comes in a thematic approach. This year, we are planting the discerning spirit. Every leader, needs to have a discerning spirit. The human mind loves to be rewarded for every hard work done, so we believe that every well understood and mastered thought or skill brings honor. Therefore, our theme for the 2023-2024 academic session is the Simon breeds honor. Honor the hallmark of leadership. Our methodology is to teach from concrete to abstract. So to bring this theme alive, we will be charging the old school community and the CPLA family on the project. The Student Representative Council will be charged to look within the location of our school for a problem that we can collectively apply discernment to and solve. The leaders collectively identified five problems, namely attending to the refuse dump beside the school, working on the view center in front of the school, they feel it shouldn't be there, it's a wrong location. Then the bad road, then the erosion that is sweeping the road away, and then the bush around the school. It could be risky for us all. So we all decided to work on the refuse dump beside the school, majorly because this is something we have control over. Others, we do not have control over it, but everybody would like us to change the look of the community because the refuse dump is an high saw. So for us to solve this problem, we will need a formidable team and strategy. Inspired by sighting an unknown scavenger picking up from the dump hill beside the school, I nicknamed him Musa. While trying to fiddle with a game of chess with my daughter in the morning, I knew that wasn't what I wanted to do, but I didn't have anything to do. So I followed my mind and did it anyway. The key thing is showing up whether you are interested or not, because every time and mostly in unpleasant situations, the universe is speaking to us to take action. So slowly, I drifted away to the vision board of the CPLA, which I enjoy viewing from the balcony of my office. My watch corroborated and alerted me it was visualizing time. Not that I usually follow this routine on visualization, but my nature is to be discerning and pay attention always. So I thought of all the stories and thoughts behind the Bababola issues in Nigeria. What if Musa is being dignified or honored while doing his daily job? What if all he needed to do was to come to our school gates and the houses around and just pick the recycling papers and plastics from a bag or a box just with a knock on the gate? What if he didn't even need to be humiliated for picking up raw materials from the refuse while supplying industries? What if he wasn't lured into criminality by his own greed? What if he wasn't picked up and mistaken for a thief while doing his daily job due to vulnerability? What if and what if? And what if he didn't catch a communicable disease or spread one while scavenging? What if Musa one day badges the badge of honor 
of aiding to maximize the use of free our resources very well for preventing pollution and for preventing waste what if the scavengers become well-trained professionals providing job opportunities for thousands in the field of recycling as against disease spread spreaders vandalizers and thieves the leaders at CPLA have been charged with the responsibility to rewrite the story and the situation of Musa. Changing the narrative would require a change of mindset of people and the modus operandi of the waste wealth profession in Nigeria. Let's watch out how our young ones apply some of the theories they have been taught to real life situations. We will give you updates in different form of the becoming of the heroes of refuse. The scavengers, Babambola, should we hail them or should we nail them? Thank you as we celebrate our sister independent day celebration today. Let's all, ask, let's all ask ourselves, what can we do to serve Nigeria? Which problem can you and I solve? in our own little way. What good thing can we copy and paste and remember the saying of Dr. Martin Luther King. Not everyone can be famous, but everybody can be great because greatness is found in service. Let's charge ourselves to have a discerning spirit in every unpleasant situation as they bring us great opportunities to be, do and achieve all that we dreamed of as a great Nigeria. Thank you very much and happy Independence Day.